we have some super crazy weather going on. Look at the roof. It's steaming off. We had uh, the gator. It's supposed to be spring. Nutters weather, just nutters. It was snow coming down like <clears throat> crazy. It, 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 huge flakes. I got a picture of that. I was out and about this morning. Had to work with a a little baby horse. Skip's just chilling out. Lots of food left. Of course, bananas run out. Gotta go deal with that. Look at this water. Somebody needs to fix this drain. I'm not sure who needs to repair, <clears throat> make things work properly around here and all that. So much to do. But it just, it's so bright now. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on with, uh, it's going to be a nice day from here on out, from my understanding. My two cows. Had somebody uh, pop in, make a comment about uh, Rue's, um, that's Rue, that's Lena, about Rue's uh, breed. Maybe some kind of Tennessee <clears throat> walker saddle, spotted saddle horse. And then it was kind of thought that maybe it's not, or he's not. So, we don't know, but if anybody can guess Rue's um, look at this. Uh, guess his breed, that'd be great. Look at this, uh, this drainage, just, it's incredible. I, you'd never think that so much water is coming down, but it goes down into here, and then there's a pipe that comes through, comes out there, drains down through here. Look at this moss. It's just, I didn't plant that, that grew there from there and it was it was comes down here and then underneath this pathway out through here along here where it joins up from another pipe that comes from here what's going on buddy you still got a little bit left eh that's good see what is this guy what are you Says I'm good looking. Yes, you are, Val. Yes, you are. <clears throat> well behaved as well. Oh, you guys are drinking together. That's cute. Anyhow, moving on. So, <clears throat> water comes out of there, out of there, into the pond, and beyond. So. Everybody's doing great. I got a little bit to do today. Oh, speaking of something that was kind of neat, <clears throat> I've been uh, yeah, pretty busy, but every once in a while I'll get little tiny clips of neat things. Oh, Hannah was lying down and uh, Haley had wandered over without me around <clears throat> to, to sort of see. And so I got a little clip I thought I'd share with you guys. Look at this. She doesn't know I'm here. She thinks I'm still inside, wondering where I am. A little shaky because I'm really zoomed in. What is she doing? Nanner's such a nice horsey. Yeah. That's her second time she flooded. <laughs> I think she'll make the same sound?
Man, that's a nice braid you've got. <laughs> hey, no chewing on boots. She's chewing on your boot. It's a tasty boot, she says. Give her a lick my jacket. Oh. Ooh. The girl's getting up. I think so. Ah. Ah. Hope you like the braid. It's my fault? Okay. Hey, Nanner. This is such a good horse. She's good spot. <laughs> she does slow motion on video. I know, right? It'd be funny. Imagine? I don't know. I could imagine, I guess. So anyway, so that was cool. It's always nice to see um, horses lying down and you're able to go up to them and just quietly be with them. What's going on, big girl? You are so lovely. Right? Lovely, lovely. Such a big, gentle giant. So anyways, we're going to get on with things here. Um, I also did some experimental video riding Ohana and I had a had a, uh, a GoPro up high. Ah, I'll just roll a little bit of that footage. So, we're going to check our backup. She says, I can do that. Oh, we stop. There. Better. <laughs> We're back her up. There we go. Pet her. Stop her. Back her. Oh. There we go. Good girl. The pet her. See, we pet her and the, the withers and the and stuff. We'll back her, back her up I mean, back up, back up, good girl. Trying to stay as balanced and even and stuff as possible. Collect up my ropes, make a little shuffle back here. I want her to understand I'm not going to sit up here really quietly all the time. Sometimes I'm going to want to shuffle around and get something out of my pocket or whatever and it might mean nothing. So I haven't asked her to go yet. So this is where we can work on this just a little bit after a successful or successful for the majority of it. Mount, back her, say hey, hang on. And pet her and scratch. Can't do enough of this with your horsies. That's what I think. Okay, good. That's good. All right, so now I'm gonna get ready to go forward. I'm going to be in a bus driver sort of position. She says, can we go now? Nah, hang on. Now I'm going to give just a very slight squeeze with my legs and off we go. So that was neat. That was, I think I'm going to try to use that technique uh, a little bit more. Um, I had to make a custom mount because you can't, when you go to buy them, it's way too much money. So you can just make them to fit. Anyway, I'll talk more about that in the future, but uh, I think it worked out well. I think I can use that for some teachings. Of course, this area is messy again. Why? Because I'm constantly building things. Okay, I'm going to get into the second half of this video pretty soon. For now, I've got a few things to take care of, but I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, I'm here with... Gracie, I've just finished trimming her and I got uh, quite a few questions, uh, some before, some recently, on how her feet are doing. Uh, it's an excellent question and I thought I would finally answer it as today is trimming day for her. So I've given her a pretty good trim. Um, the very short version is I'm happy with most of her feet. Um, the only concern that I have left is her back uh, left 
foot still seems to have a little bit of an issue inside that bar that we were talking about way past. So sometimes um, horses will get uh, something sort of jammed in their bar from overgrowth or from a long time ago and then what happens is, is the bar sort of folds over it and then some sole sort of grows over it and then it's like getting a sliver you know and it just stays in your hand or wherever whatever part of your body and your body sort of just grows over it and then it creates a bunch of pus and it gets infected and and, and your body says get it out um, and our skin being as malleable as it is it's usually quite easy to take things out but when it's a hoof it's a little different um, there's always compression there's always that thing about them stepping on it all the time which just ends up pushing things in deeper so the solution um, usually is to just try to trim um, out uh, as much as you safely can to allow things to escape uh, and the, what we were doing before, or what I was doing before, was uh, booting, putting a uh, plastic boot, a glue-on boot, on her foot. Uh, I did both of her back feet. Now the back right appears to be, it, it's about 98% of the way there, which is great. 2% left to go, it's nothing. It's nothing, I'm not worried. Um, her other back foot seems to still, I might boot it again, but I'm just going to see a little bit more uh, if I can sort of trim that off. So. The bigger concern really in the beginning uh, was her front feet because the, especially the front left foot, which appeared what some people would call clubby. Or uh, I know another veterinarian who has since passed away actually. Um, brilliant guy and he called it a stump foot, which I think is sort of a little bit more accurate than what a club foot would be. Um, Anyways, the idea is that the heel is as long or as tall as the toe. So let's take a quick look here at what this looks like. Hi, Rosie. Yes, you're a very good girl. You're very good for a trim. All right, so I'm gonna come down low to her foot and try to get some of this hay out of the way. And you can see that there, now she's leaning a bit forward. If we can just get her to put her head up. There we go. And so the foot overall still um, appears, whoop, hang on. So the foot still appears a little bit tall in the heel, but I think that's just going to be her foot. I think I've made it to the point where she has uh, reached her maximum trim level. And I'll show you that from the bottom. So if we take a look here, we can see, um, and it's hard to say for sure. I don't know for sure. I'm still trimming this foot, still trying to get it worked out, but I've trimmed down to the level, just a hair above the sole level. And you might find that hard to tell uh, here, but it's just a hair above. It's still a little bit soft in, in these, what's called the seat of the corn here and here. So, and the frog needed a big trim. So it's been given a big trim, but, it still, I still think, I still think there is a lot of depth here. We can see that this foot is very deep, which is fantastic. It's a very strong foot. Um, she doesn't have any problems. She's obviously very fast. Um, her frog is quite good, but it's long for it. So when you get a long frog, you end up getting these bits in here. Ah, she's getting a little impatient. You were very good about it, but somebody's making noise over there. Uh, and so when the frog, when the frog gets long, it's going to inevitably, inevitably start to, uh, sort of tear itself a little bit. So you just trim it back and it's fine. It's no problems there. There's no thrush in any of her, her frogs. Her frogs are all in great condition, uh, other than her front right, which appears to just be sort of shedding a little bit off. I'll show you guys that. Excuse me, coming through. Yeah. Just help me through here. There, yeah, good girl. All right, so now we'll grab this foot. Come on, good girl. And uh, take off some of this hay. And so here, right here, we can kind of see that I have to take out quite a bit and there's still a little bit of a crack in there. 
I don't know if this camera is going to be able to show it that well. But it's a very firm frog, so I'm not really, but there was some soft stuff here. And so this, this hook as well, um, the heels are a little, okay, stop moving. Um, a little above the sole kind of thing. And I think that it's a fantastic hoof. Um, I don't see any real problems. I'd like this frog to just grow in a little healthier, but we've had some very wet conditions. So, you know, sometimes they get a little soft and it's, um, it's hard for them to maintain a really solid frog there. So we just take off the stuff that's bad. Overall, uh, I think she's doing great. I think we're almost there. She's going fine. She doesn't have any problems. She doesn't have any... I mean, she's never really had any walking or running <laughs> problems. Um, but she did present a while back with what appeared to be a little bit of pain in the back of her feet on her back feet. Uh, so that's what led to uh, having to boot and then talking about it an awful... Oh, there's that. Look, he's come back for more fish. There isn't any, you ate them all. Crane. Ate all my fish. So yeah, back feet overall, shape-wise, fantastic. Cute little feet, look at her pick up her foot. She thinks that I want it. She's such a great horse. I mean, you can't get any better than that. Right, here, can I have your foot? She says, yes. How do you get any better than that? Watch. Can I have your front foot, please? This one. Good girl. Hey, thank you. Right? If you don't have to pick up your horse's foot, you're ahead of the game. So, fantastic shape, good condition, a little bit on that back foot, and for what it's worth, She's come a long, long ways from where she was, especially in the beginning where they said they had to tranquilize her to trim her, um, and she had those long, overgrown sort of heels and stuff. Um, that? that was a classic creature. Well, I bumped her in the nose of my yeah. elbow. Yeah, but you shouldn't have done that because now you've insulted her. <laughs> oh, I scared the <laughs> shit out of her. She's, <laughs> she's, she's sure she's going to be hurt. That's oh. the problem. Oh, well, they're horses. It's just Mother Nature. <laughs> So to continue my story, it would be, um, the answers would be so ridiculous that I just couldn't stand it anymore. And at some point I finally said, that's it, I'm trimming my own horses. And I never looked back. That's the update on Gracie. I thought I'd give you guys that today. It's a beautiful day. It's been just fantastic other than that weird snowstorm that we had. Snow's all gone. But it's a beautiful day right now. Everybody's chilled out, taking it easy. Piggy's doing well. Rue's just taking it easy. You know, everybody's good. So we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, if there are any questions, let me know anytime. Uh, that's it that's that's i'm just going to continue doing what i'm doing for her um and keep an eye on that back left if i need to boot it again i will but i think probably not again it's just some stuff in the bar that hasn't quite made its way completely out so i don't know what those guys are doing but they're noisy oh well okay that's it i'll see you guys again in the next video till then